guys and welcome back to Crochet College. My name is Mia and in today's video we will be looking at this Burnett Velvet yarn. Uh, this particular one comes from Yarnspirations, although it's not the only velvet yarn on the market. This is a five bulky yarn made with 100% polyester. The one thing that gravitated me towards this yarn honestly was how trendy it was. I saw it online, I saw what people were making with it, and I just got inspired. So I went out and impulse bought a whole bunch of it in all different colors. Uh, I got the regular one, got the baby one, but I found that I had a limited time creating projects. So hopefully making this review video will help me generate some more ideas. So like I said, the one thing that drew me in towards the yarn was how trendy it is, but also how soft it feels. Like it is absolutely amazingly soft. Um, and it doesn't have that kind of hard undertone that usually I find velvet, fa velvet fabric has. With this yarn, they recommend that you hand wash it and lay flat to dry. Do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean. Um, and then to create a four inch by four inch swatch, they recommend that you use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, 12 stitches across by 17 rows. I'm hope, oh, sorry, messed that up. 6.5 millimeter crochet hook with 10 single crochets across and 11 rows. I was gonna say, that doesn't really add up. That's gonna be big. So 11 rows up, 10 single crochets across. So I followed the gauge recommendation with the 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and I am pleasantly surprised. They recommended a great hook size to make a nice, light, and flexible fabric that doesn't have too many holes in it, so it's not like it's lacy. And overall, we are just at about four inches by four inches. It goes a little bit over, but nothing adjusting my tension couldn't fix. That said, I do not love this yarn. It is such a trend item. It really doesn't have anything extra for it. And whenever you cut those ends, you are subject to getting these frillies falling off and going all over the places. Or going all over the place. And whenever you use this yarn, you are guaranteed to have at least two ends, if not more, if you're doing a bigger project. So those are some of the things that definitely take away some points for me. I'm going to give this Burnett Velvet a 4 out of 10 stars. The main reason is that this is not a versatile yarn. I can't use it for more than a few trendy items, or I guess rather I wouldn't want to use it for more than a few trendy items. Uh, scrunchies are a great use for it. Um, maybe some hats, some like wrist warmers, leg warmers, something small. But the fact that I have to hand wash it makes anything big really out of the question. Plus, this yarn is relatively heavy for its durability. So it's only got this thin thread running through it that has all this fluff coming off of it. So that thin thread is under a lot of pressure. And if you make something too heavy or too big, I'm nervous that you're, you're gonna be subject to some stress, fra stress fractures. So overall, this is a yarn that I purchased a lot of and I'm hoping to find some projects to use it for. So I told you the ideas I have. If you have any more ideas for projects that I could do, please leave that in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day.